Hey everyone, welcome to Studio F. You know, we, uh, we use a lot of these preamps here in, in the studio all the time. I wanted to take a second and show you specifically this Universal Audio 4710D. This is a really powerful preamp. It actually has four preamps built in. Um, it's got eight channels altogether of uh, A to D conversion and uh, a lot of functionality that I, I, I know you're going to want to use. So let's take a look here real quick. Um, I've got a microphone hanging out there with a source and it's a condenser mic so we're going to need some phantom power of course so i've got the uh, the 48 volts phantom power hanging out there as well uh, there is a 15 db pad in case the uh, the microphone is overloading the preamp and then we have our mic line switch hanging out here as well so uh, of course we've got that set up to, to microphone so the first thing you want to know about is how to control what you're seeing on the meter, which is this little button or switch right here. This is the meter out, and so or I'm sorry, the meter switch, and you can choose either to watch drive, which is how much input you're getting into the preamp. You can choose gain reduction, which we'll talk about here in a little bit, and then meter out, which is how much we're outputting to our, uh, our DAW. So if I go into drive here and I go down to the gain adjustment, as I start bringing that up, we start, should start seeing some level. So not a huge volume going on out there in the studio, so I've got to crank this gain up quite a bit to get a good level. So you want to be careful that uh, you're not distorting the actual input to the preamp. So if you ever hear distortion on the microphone, you can bring that gain down and then later on get a good level into your DAW. So I'm going to go ahead and get an optimum level here, maybe uh, hitting around the, you know, the minus three mark there or so. I want to be careful that I'm not pegging the needle. Great. Then if I switch over the MTR out, I can see I'm getting no output from this preamp. So as I bring the gain switch up, I can start getting output. That's when I would look at my DAW and make sure that I'm, I'm getting a good level. Also, I want to look over here at the, the digital output, and you want to make sure that you're not driving that into the red because that would be causing some analog to digital uh, clipping. So we'll back that down, get an optimum level. Some of the other fun things on this preamp, you of course have a low cut. This is a 75 hertz roll off low cut, which is really useful. Um, you have your phase, of course, in and out. Uh, the in switch means that the phase is not currently active or activated. And when we hit out, that means you're flipping it out of phase. So it's a little bit confusing on the labeling. So in phase is there, but phase out, meaning you're flipping the phase out. So we'll go ahead and keep that in the in position, which is the default position. You have the ability with the patch bay to actually insert some external processing like a compressor or EQ. That's what this insert switch is all about. You want to make sure that its default position is set to out unless you do, in fact, actually set yourself up uh, a preamp or a compressor, some of this external hardware that you have going on up here. You can flip that in and then be able to hear that audio going from the preamp to the processor back into this system and then out to your DAW. We have actually a built-in 1176 style compressor hanging out inside of each one of these preamps, which is really unbelievable. Uh, that's where this GR switch comes into play. So if I switch over to GR, you'll see that as I increase the input, oh, I actually have to turn this thing on, right? Uh, go to off, and you can either choose slow, which means slow attack, slow release settings, or fast, fast attack, fast release. So when I switch that over to fast, I've now engaged that compressor. And then it's all based on how much input, how much you're driving. Now, again, I don't have very much level coming from the studio itself right now. So I've got to have this gain up quite a bit. But you can see now I'm actually compressing that signal as well. So it's really, really lots of function going on there. And then last but not least, this entire pre, uh, preamp, one of the most unique features of it is actually both a tube and a solid state preamp. And this control right here allows you to vary which one you're uh, looking for. So if you want more of that discrete, um, clean, well, I mean, you can maybe, you know, get a little bit crunchy if you wanted to. Um, you can go more for the, uh, the discrete setting. If you want more of that warmth, uh, the creaminess of a tube sound, you can go more towards a tube or anywhere in between. So it's really gives you a lot of uh, character. EQ uh, is really kind of what you think of it um, to change the tone. So really, it's an experimental knob. You know, you, you want to play around with that thing and see if you can get any better tone or a different tone uh, through, through controlling whether it's discrete or tube. 
So there you have it. That's the Universal Audio 4710D. Four preamps hanging out there. Lots of really fun control. We'll, uh, we'll go on to some other preamps here in a bit.